Zane. The only place you're famous is online. I mean that as a compliment, dog. You're the greatest of all time. I am not worthy. I can't win. I'm just paying respect, legend. When Ur said I would kill this, he really gave me a death sentence. Yes, it's the amazing Malaysian. I'm saying as rise the illus, killing bad guys and villains, killing bad vibes. He's chilling. Haven't seen a better performance since the last time he killed it. He keeps cooking. You can't wash him. Cast iron skillet. Still, it's true he is ugly, but he'll still steal your girl. Trust me. First best rapper in his second language in a third world country. But I don't want to hear about no drugs you smuggle like you run through duffels. I don't trust you acting tough. You flexing unused muscles. Malaysian trailer park boy. Yeah, fuck you, Bubbles. You'd lose a fight to your landlady like Kung Fu Hustle. I'm out my fucking mind. Always brung a knife and they wonder why. Stab them and wipe the blade. It's simple. Cut and dry. Ooh, I bet you thought that was a great last line. Because Buffalo Bill and Zane Azrai have the same pastime. By the way, it doesn't matter that it's off the screen. We all can see when you pause and read. It's not discreet. Stop it, please. On second thought, look anywhere. Just nod at me. You're Jackson Yates, son of Chris Yates, Republican politician, the racist who wants thousands of blacks locked in prison for having guns and knives you claim to use in all your written. This is a lesson for flag, check on your dad's sensitive past. Each story makes you die inside. World Trade Center collapse. I heard smoking caused your dad's heart attack. Sadly, it ain't over. In Maryland, they say your family were slave owners. They must have burned slaves alive. If daddy's a chain smoker, when you bow blacks, you see them as slaves and spit about nines. Your gun is where bumblebee, that machine's a whip in disguise. You're a fake SJW of gun bars. How clever, the heat makes you disappear. You're just a snowflake around desert. I heard when your dad ran for election, Epstein mostly wrote the checks. Lex do for mentors and guys like you. You only roll with Lex because he takes more kids under the wing than Lolita Express. You're the knife bar king of extreme violence and deadly timing. Must be tough being the only MC Ryman on Epstein Island. You're a closet racist who chills with known pedos. When you jerked off, you saw different strokes and changed it to home alone. Lex Lufa backs you. Smack likes you. We all get your dope. You bow worldwide. Not one Smack PG. Why? I'll let you know. Would you deny your racist dad by name on Smack? Yes or no? Next time cops kill your black friends, don't tweet respect and hope. Tell their families you'll let your dad help them die for the checks you wrote. You're like, my dad's racist, not me. Tell that to black guys when they put a nine behind your head like your nephew's piggyback ride. Bro, I thought we agreed no personals. But fair play, you got me bad. Body bad. Just one small problem. That's not my dad. You really made up some random shit and thought you had the evidence to prove it. Like my name was Officer Azra, Special Victims Unit. So I guess you just assume everyone is related to me in the States? Well, you have over 82,000 people named Gates. You don't think someone might have brought it up in the past if I had a Republican dad? Someone like Raptor, Johnny, Crafty, Stupid bitch ain't even Google this. The motherfucker asked Jeeves, but I ain't mad at that. It's battle rap, where anything can end careers. So never fear, like you told that one dude, my real dad, he's been dead for years. What is it with you and dads? What kind of traumatic shit happened that messed you up? You ever read Shakespeare? Cause me thinks thou doth molest too much. Either that or your mom got test too fucked. Fucking edgelord over here. Picture the nastiest shit you can think of, and that's his next line. But it's not all jokes. He's got bars too, about graphic sex crimes. Cause your whole style screams, look at me, look at me. If I wasn't still cooking, then they wouldn't keep booking me. You're not scared to catch a bomb, then you shouldn't be shooking me. Got rocket power in my hands. Woogity woogity. But I digress. I was just sick of talking about you. And I really needed another bar. You should update your style. But you are a legend. Hey, you've done your part. Still the type weirdo to say he was proven innocent cause he wasn't charged. So keep it old school or new school. Just don't come within a hundred yards. I'll hang your face on my mantle as a racist example. Kung Fu Hustle? No, your white flag, you're made to lose battles. I came to unmask you. Your performance ain't shit. Your delivery is smooth sailing. You're still in a box. Slave ship. Your round two is straight lit because this Muslim beat you to death. Your American flag, you're lit because the Muslim made you lose your head. You're not smooth in bed. Ask your dame. You said first best rapper, second language. 
third world country. You keep forgetting the foreplay. I flipped all your shit. You can't flip the facts. You won't answer one punch and flags on his back longer than Homelander. Your sister will know and get the pics. I'll turn you to a vegetable, but it's not a breath of fresh air when I have the photosynthesis. Your dad made you go to naval school. I won't mention his fist. A man disgusts everyone when he instills bread in his kids. As if China raised the red flag and made everyone sick. You buzz those rhymes that cut and dry to keep your mind focused. Cause your dad's beliefs make you want to slice both wrists. I notice. Cause when I see the red flag, I know that pussy ain't worth it. Don't act psycho, bitch. They say your dad's cool with Trump dating his kids. The guy's so sick. Picture your dad sexting kids. My cock's rhino big. Is he a piñata? Hung like a horse and blindfolds kids? My nice ice cold shit, organs everywhere. I'll cut this weak ass prick to meat fragments. Red haired bitch, your chest is all over the ceiling. Queen's Gambit, you think I'm a mass produced joke rapper? Good, you'll suffer. I'll take this gingerbread, man. Of course, I'm cookie cutter. Woo, samurai. Yo, uh, Zen Azrai vs. Red Flag. I'm gonna give that one to Red Flag. Um, he killed it. He's sick. Um, a bit more consistent with the bars. Than uh, Zen Azrai. Um, I tried not to because, oh man, this is hard to say without sounding like a prick. But like, I tried to not make it because obviously Zen Azrai is a tiny bit more harder to understand to me than Red Flag just, just because of the accent. So I did my best to not judge it on that because obviously that is. That that fucks up the clarity of the bar sometimes for people who aren't used to the accent and you can't read. But then again, I can't watch the video back three times to understand the shit because that's not fair because you wouldn't be able to do that at an event. So I tried to keep it as fair as possible and just um, not base it on that. But at the same time, I can't deny the fact that sometimes I couldn't quite understand some of his bars, but he had, the, some of the shit he said, I really fucking liked. Like he said, uh, something about red flag and pussy not being worth it or something. I don't know if red flags ever had anything like that said to him already, but I like that shit because I never heard it. But um, yeah, I'm still going to um, give it to red flag. Just a bit of a better performance to just, yeah, I think red flags kind of killed it through this tournament, to be honest, man. He's sick. So yeah, man. Big up Red Flag. Zane versus Red Flag. This was a sick battle. Um, like I do like both of them. You get me their their styles, their delivery, and and and, and what they do in battles. Um, so to put those two together, it was a tough decision. Um, because this partly with Red Flag, I like the way how we. Um, it's the way he breaks down his opponent and can be just so sarcastic with it, you get me? And, like, you know, he was making a lot of points about Zayn, uh, you know, being this shock rapper and just saying stuff for the sake of it. And I think that was a very accurate breakdown in some sense. Um, but then you had Zayn, um, who I think, like, even though the first angle was apparently fake about his dad being a racist and that, yeah, he had been going for a while and, like, he, he would have convinced me it was the case and I, I just kind of liked the attack of that first round. Um, and then second round, yeah, obviously Red Flag comes back and tells him it's a load of shit and, like... It was good the way he came back. Um, I liked his response. But then Zane comes back in his second, yeah. And I think his second was a bit more bar heavy than um, Red Flags. I just, I, I liked a lot of his flag um, schemes and stuff like that. I know they might seem a bit played out, but I think they worked like really well. And, uh, you know, just the end with a samurai thing, but I, I think he did him in. I give it to Zane. Yeah, Sean Cray, just judging Red Flag versus Zane Azrai. Uh yeah, I thought I thought Red Flag was gonna like really, really wash Zane in this one. But like uh just thinking about it, I think it's Zane's probably like a tricky person to write for because it's like he's he's one of those guys that doesn't take himself too seriously. Um lots of the angles have been done. And like there's lots lots of horrible kind of angles that you could take with him that like Red Flag just isn't that kind of guy, so yeah, he's, he's he probably did struggle and like he didn't have his best display in terms of like writing in this one, and like Zayn actually 
like wrote really well. You can tell Zayn is actually trying really hard in this uh, tournament. He's really, really going for it, and it's a good look for him. But like, I still wouldn't say that Zayn's writing was as good as Red Flags. But like, let's suggest that like they they're both kind of level. Um, yeah, but Red Flags like delivery. It's just is that bit better than Zayn's? Like he kind of points out that Zayn reads his stuff off the camera and it is kind of obvious like so there's a point for red flag there but also like quite a big thing was Zane's first round was like oh your dad is this republican and he's based his whole round about it and then red flag just flips it with like he's not my dad and in the next round like surely you got to stick to your guns somewhat Zane like the fact that he just doesn't mention it again just shows that it was obviously bullshit because the rest of us didn't google it like you can you can st stick with it and sell it and he didn't um so yeah it kind of killed off Zane's first round so it's got to go to red flag for me right wow that was a close one not gonna lie Zayn Azrai had me in absolute fucking stitches as per usual, bruv. That fucking, the chain smoker line, the snowflake around deserts, the white flag, fucking, what was it? Photosynthesis, that was jokes. Um, I liked uh, Red Flag as well. He had like, he's got the very casual delivery. Um, I like the unused muscles line, Kung Fu hustle. Um, you and Zayn Azrai have the same pastime. That was sick. Um, all the stuff he said about, like, you've got an obsession with dads, calling them an edgelord and all that. That was heavy. Um, the cast iron skillet scheme. That was fire. Um, but I'm going to give it to Zayn Azrai just on pure entertainment factor. And I think he had a lot more punchlines. Like, his punchline count was higher. Um you're the only MC rhyming on Epstein Island. That was fire. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to Zayn Azrai, man. Big up Zayn Azrai. But again, Red Flag was sick. You know, it was a difficult decision to make. But um, I think Zayn, you know, he did just enough to deserve the victory. So, big up Zayn Azrai. Big up Red Flag too. Peace. Okay, Zayn Azrai versus Red Flag. I can't believe I'm saying this. I think I'm going to give it to Zayn Azrai, you know. Yes, red flag initially looks like, you know, <laughs> let's be careful here. He looks like he's rapping more clean uh, and executing it better. And his, uh, you know, his pronunciation is a lot clearer with words and stuff. Um, but he wasn't as hard hitting as Zayn Azrael. I'm sorry. Zayn Azrael in his first round says he had like the chain smoking bar, which was by far bar of the battle. Yeah, that was insanely good. Uh, he had some other. Oh, he had like in the beginning of the second round, he had like. Um, he was rhyming the motors. He's like, now nah, you're white flag, you lose in battles. He had, you know, he had a cup. Zayn Azrael has surprised me. He's actually had the harder hitting punches. Um, I don't think, like, I, th I think initially people might think Red Flag won it, but if you watch it back, I don't think Red Flag said too much, to be honest with you. The second round... I'm oh, sorry. The second round he spent, like, the first quarter of it just defending... Well, fair enough, defending that his that, that Zayn Azrael was lying, but it just wasn't powerful enough. And then, <laughs> and then when it comes to Zayn Azrael, right? he doesn't give a fuck, he's going straight back in with a racist dad. The thing is... With battles, it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter, but it's not always about what's true and what's not. And I think I think Red Flag got a bit caught up in trying to defend it, which obviously is the right thing to do, but he, it wasn't strong enough for me. So <laughs> I'm giving Zayn Azrael the win, man. Well played, man. You had some fucking fire bars in there, innit? So yeah, fair play.